How's it going? Adam Drake here, and I have a quick video today talking about the Hobby Wing boost and turbo timing. So I've had a couple questions kind of asking what values or settings should be used for electric buggy and truck for boost and turbo, and what's the difference between the two. So we have my e-buggy here with the XR8 Pro Gen 3 with 2200 kV motor. Um, I have a few different settings. Um, if you guys ever need or have any questions, you can always feel free to email me. I can send you uh, different setup sheets. So I have kind of a lower grip setting that uses a 1900, where I also play a little bit with uh, turbo boost and then also softening value and range um, for lower grip conditions. But for today with my standard setup, 2200 kV motor. Um, for buggy, I normally start with uh, zero degrees of boost and 10 degrees of turbo. Uh, for truck, I add a little bit of um, boost, so five degrees and 10 degrees of turbo timing would be my standard setting for truck. And then again, zero uh, boost and 10 timing for buggy. So what's the difference? So uh, boost timing, I guess to kind of put it in the simplest terms, uh, boost is going to be the initial kind of burst or boost of power. So consider that more the low end power. And the turbo timing is going to be once the throttle gets past 95% or basically to 100%, the turbo kicks in. So the turbo is almost like shifting gears in a sense. It gives you that little bit extra uh, pull on the straightaway without kind of overpowering the car on the infield. So again, um, boost is gonna be for bottom. So the, the short burst, that's why on truck I run um, five degrees, where on buggy I run zero. Um, you, if, if you're on a track that's really high grip and you need a, a little bit extra power, you can always um, increase that for buggy. I don't think you would ever really wanna go much above five on buggy. Uh, typically on buggy, we struggle um, to put the power to the ground, especially with running a 2200. So I like running zero because it just kind of helps smooth out that initial power. But then with the turbo, running it at 10, so it makes it have kind of that little bit of extra power on the straightaway without overpowering it and making it hard to drive. So again, just to kind of make it simple, boost low end turbo high end um, on truck again i normally start with five degrees of boost and 10 degrees of turbo um, at motorama i went up to 15 degrees of turbo um, there was a really really big double in the back and you you had a pretty good run up to it but by putting that extra five degrees of turbo it just kind of helped the truck kind of pulled through the face of the jump and just made it a little bit easier to do that um, again without making it like too aggressive or difficult to drive through the infield. So hopefully this was helpful. I have more hobby wing videos coming in the near future. If there's any subjects or settings on the hobby wing stuff that you would like to see me discuss, please put in the comments. And as always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe.